Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Laxon, and as you know, this is my HIV journey. I am standing with the man with the plan, right? Patient zero uh, in the cure. Yes, there are now two others, but this one is the original patient zero towards our cure. Dave Purdy over here, uh, a, a founder, co-founder of the uh, uh, World AIDS Institute, and in my opinion, a stellar uh, activist, uh, advocate, and a person that diligently works uh, for our community. Uh, so, Timothy, what does it make you feel like whenever you hear the announcement that there are now two others and that the, um, it can be drawn back to you? What does that make you feel like? It makes me feel incredible and I, I'm very happy, very happy that um, other people can be cured, um, basically doing some of the things that I went through. Um, uh, my, my cure wasn't easy and I hope to God that their, their cure, cures are easier than mine was. And um, this means this is a very um, important moment because um, it means that it can be done, and I'm not just a um, fake or anything like that. I, I am cured. I'm, there's no question about that. Um, and I'm really hoping that these people are, are cured and um, that they, their, their test will show that they are cured. Well, I will tell you, after spending a week at the International AIDS Conference with a, and a phenomenal group of people, and uh, being around you, you're larger than life. Uh, I can remember a year ago seeing it in the magazine, um, and, and if you would have told me that I would be here standing with you, talking to you, um, I would not have believed it. So that, I, I wish you continued success. Dave, I, I guess the next question for you. In this conference room right behind us where we just had this um, amazing uh, Daniel Bauer show, only a few days earlier, we had a historic announcement. Congratulations, Tim, on the uh, Timothy Ray Brown Foundation, the only research, the only foundation in the United States that's going to fund uh, research uh, for a cure, and especially innovative research. What's the next step for the foundation? What's the next step for for activism and advocacy? Well, actually, uh, amazingly. Um Timothy launching his foundation, the Timothy Ray Brown Foundation, on Tuesday. Um, it's actually the first organization in the history of AIDS, the 31-year history of AIDS, whose sole mission and focus is on finding a cure, which to me is incredible. So he launched on Tuesday, and then Thursday we get news, international news, that two people, one in New York and one in Boston, have, it looks like they've been cured as well. So that just shows that a cure is not only possible, but we need to put everything we have into a cure, whether it be funding, and world leaders need to get behind it, every government, every scientist, every doctor, it's absolutely possible, we know that now. Because of Tim, they were able to focus in on, on the cure and different ways to be able to, to find a cure, and now it's, it's gonna happen, there's no doubt in my mind. So it's an exciting time. And I remember when we got the news, uh, Tim was actually uh, meeting with Nancy Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, in her office. And on the way back, we got the news. And we're just getting into gear because Tim wanted to get an announcement about how excited he was and, and how just jazzed he was about the idea that it's, it's possible. He's not going to be the only one on the planet. And, and I hope that is the case. But I was looking across from him the table, and we're just... And I looked at my friend Kevin Maloney, who you know, and I said, Kevin, my God, it, we could like be HIV negative. And I just looked at him and he looked at me and I looked at Tim and we just stared at each other. And I just started crying because I realized that it's really possible. And all the work that we're going to be doing together with all the help of everyone in the community and the entire world, there's no doubt in my mind we can find a cure, and I just can't wait for that day. Yes. And I know yes, we can. Tim can't wait for that day too, because just like HIV and AIDS enter it into our community with one person, and then two, and then three, he was the one that got cured, and then we got now a second cure, and a third, and we're going to get five, and ten, yeah. and yeah. fifteen, and, and a thousand, and, on and, on. and it'll go yeah. on and on, and then we actually have a cure. So it's 
this is the cure conference. Yeah. This is it the is. cure conference. Well, as we, we draw this, this phenomenal week of activism, brotherhood, sisterhood, together, I, I would say to each one of you out there, whether you're in small town United States or a gravel road Germany or France, Australia, because I know you're out there. Or holding up an I'm HIV positive sign in front of the Washington <laughs> Monument. Or, or, or holding, that's or, him. right, that's, that's he me. He did that. I'm, I'm sure you saw every yeah. shot of it in front of the White House. That's him. So if you're, gonna, if you're HIV positive, be proud, man. Do it. I don't care if you're at the, in, in, the, in the front of, I don't know, what, name, a, name any world site that you would just love to go see, besides the Eiffel Tower. Empire State Building. Okay, Empire State Building. Okay, what? The Taj Mahal. Yeah. If you're HIV positive, you know what? Be proud, because every time you do that, you're sending the word that, you know what? We're not different than anyone else. In fact, we're special. We're special because we know the fight, we know what we need to do, and we need to do it together. So this man, turn on yourself, <laughs> this man right here, this is the bomb. I've met yes. many, many activists. Stop. Don't, don't turn this off. <laughs> I've met many activists in my 30, 25 years, more than 25 years, working in HIV and AIDS. And this, watch this, look at this face, watch these videos, because this is going to be the man. And I'm so proud to have met you. Me too. Well, you know, I always say, I always end all my videos, uh, you know, now 70,000 people have watched my videos. I always end each video the same way, uh, do something positive. This man behind